it definitely took a lot of work to get where I'm at, and there's still a lot of work to go. Um, some people think I'm crazy, that it's just a dream that's too far out of reach for a lot of people, but I don't see it that way, and I'm just I'm ready to grow. Early morning travel, now we're getting it by the day break. $20,000, I'm spending on the day day. Talking on the grand, better start voice, say, say. Popping our shells, had to run in front of AK. Floated out the roller, made it water like a vacay. Chopper don't play, had to make him do the name, name. Running to the cake, I'll be climbing up the pay grade. Bitch, you be snakes, I'm hanging on fake, fake. What up, y'all? I'm Rogue. Um, I'm a entrepreneur from Manchester, Tennessee. I run a business called No Sleep Studios. We are an audio video production company. We help artists grow. We help um, companies in need of videography, such as commercials. We do music videos for artists. Um, anything audio video, I got my hands in. So how and why did I start my studio? Well, I actually started out as a rapper um, when I was 12 years old. And I met a guy at a local high school who was a rapper and I was very intrigued by what he did and I thought it was super cool. And I've always liked rap music, so it was just like that little push that got me going. And basically over the years, as I worked with other artists in the studio and I had other people come to me to record them, I just started to develop this passion for audio engineering, and which led to audio engineering stuff for videos and whatnot, and which kind of pushed me into the videography side of things. And here I am, I run an audio video production company. Ever since I've started rapping, like even whenever I was 12 years old, I was facing a lot of hardships right out the gate. Um, a lot of people hated on me as soon as the first song that I dropped. I heard a lot of hate around school, um, just a lot of jokes being made. But it did affect me in an awful way. I was depressed for about a year before I picked rapping back up. And um, I was, for a long time, I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna do it for me, for myself, and not really care what everybody else thinks. Um, in high school, there was a couple more issues where I was on the baseball team and people would pick on me that was on the baseball team just because I was rapping. Mind you, I was a lot better than when I started. Yeah, so um, behind all those hardships, it was very important that I had a very strong support system behind me backing me the whole way. Um, a big thank you to my mom who supported me and still does, um, my father, my stepfather. My girlfriend, we've been together for four years plus and still going strong. She's a very strong support system. I don't know what I would do without any of those guys. So what advice do I give to the next generation of musicians and artists? Um, I would say keep your head on the go. You know, keep your tunnel vision focus on your dream. Chase it with all you've got. Um, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You know, you live your life for yourself and you do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, nobody else is going to make you happy until it starts, you know, with yourself. So what would I tell people who are just now getting into the music industry who may be a little bit older and a lot of people are doubting you because say you are 20 plus years old trying to look into the music industry and just starting out. Um, a lot of people will hate on you and tell you you can't do it. but. If you put your mind to it and you chase it and you practice at it and you actually believe in yourself and work toward it every day, then you can accomplish whatever is you set your mind to and get there. It's just a matter of, it starts in, in your head. It just starts all in your head. And if you can, if you can think you can do it and you believe you, do, you can do it, then you can do it.